Hey everybody, this is Peter for again for MLB Rumors and MLB Everything. I am a big, huge MLB fan. It's my favorite sport. I'll tell you about myself. I want to start making videos for MLB. I want to start making videos for like I do fantasy. I kind of like shied away from doing fantasy all the time because it's like it takes a lot of dedication to tell people what you think, and I don't want you know people to bet money if I'm not able to study a hundred percent. So I do want to make videos when it comes to talking about baseball, and I'm a diehard Diamondback fan as I am a diehard Arizona Cardinal fan. That's not by choice; that it just happened to be a coincidence that it's been Arizona. I started when I was a kid, and the Diamondbacks came out in 1988, and I liked them ever since. And it was rough the first year, and when they won the championship in four years, it's great. I know everything about the Diamondbacks. I can tell you anything you need to know. And it's tough some years because they're god awful sometimes. And lately they've been really good. You know, last year was tough. Once you lost JD Martinez, everything changed. That was the biggest mistake they ever made. Let's talk about who's going to win divisions. Let's talk about who's going to win the championship, who's going to win MVPs. But today we're solely going to focus on who's going to win the division. You know, I applied for jobs in the MLB. That's how much of a fan I am. So I know a lot about baseball and I would love to talk to anybody who wants to speak about it. Let's start with who wins the AL East. And I hate the Yankees. I hate everything about the Yankees living in New York because the fans here, they're not, they're not diehard fans. They, you know, they turn on their team when they don't win. I'm not that type of guy, but they are gonna win the division this year. They are a really great team. If Severino stays healthy and by getting Paxton, that's what they needed. You know, it wasn't going to work out when you guys, when you had guys like CC Sabathia having to pitch big games. Like you, you definitely need, besides Severino, you needed somebody else. And Paxton's the guy. The guy has wipeout, 10 strikeout in game stuff. He's going to do amazing. And with that offense in New York, they're going to do well. Boston, you say, how could Boston do? I feel like Sale has a possibility of maybe getting injured. And I also feel like they're going to have a little bit of a hangover from winning. And I think the Yankees are going to win the division. Doesn't mean Boston's still not going to make the wild card. I do think it's, we're going to have a different winner in the Central when it comes to... I don't think Cleveland's going to win. I don't like their offense this year. I know Lindor, it's going to take a while since the injury. I do not like their offense at all. I feel their pitching is wonderful, but I feel like they're going to have a problem. And I feel like Minnesota is going to sneak in and they are going to win the division. Why, you say? Let me explain. <laughs> Guys like Kyle Gibson is going to be the reason why. They already have... a Beast and, and uh, Jose Bears, and besides him, they needed an, uh, another good pitcher. And Gibson actually had a great year last year. Don't go by the win loss record. He had a great ERA, and they will win the division. Uh, for example, guys like picking up Nelson Cruz, getting uh, Scope, and getting uh, Crone is a huge difference and a boost to the offense. I think the division is not going to be a runaway. I just feel like the door is going to open just enough because Chicago ain't going anywhere. Detroit ain't going anywhere, right? I feel like in that division, you're going to see um, a different team, which is always good. And then we're going to go to the West. Houston just looks too tough. Houston looks like they're going to win the division again. And Oakland will challenge them. The Angels just, again, they never have enough. They seem to always make a mistake. I feel like they, their pitching isn't enough. I just don't think they're going to do well again this year. Maybe they'll, their offense is going to do well. Maybe they'll win 80-something games, but it's not going to be enough. It's going to be the same two things. It's going to be Houston winning the division and Oakland getting the wild card. So this is what I got. I got the Yankees winning the division. I got Minnesota winning the division, and I have Houston winning the division. I have Boston winning the wild card like the Yankees did last year. And Oakland again. So the only real difference that I have is the Yankees winning the division, and then I have Minnesota winning the division. Not sure who's going to win right now when it comes to the AL, but I just wanted to make division winners right now, and then I will make championship winners maybe tomorrow. Let's go to the NL, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to get a lot of <laughs> excuse me, a lot of disagreements here. NL East. Again, I'm not a New York fan, but the Mets will win the division. The Mets will shock everybody this year. They're, maybe not shock, but the Mets made amazing moves. People don't 
some people don't realize how amazing this team can really be. I'm not excuse the pun with the amazings, but their pitching is that good. If Wheeler stays healthy, and look what he did last year, and DeGrom, you don't even need to go into DeGrom, and Syndergaard is back, that's three aces in itself. Already it's going to be tough to deal with them. Now you add guys like Cano. You have guys like Lowry. Two really, Cano's going to probably hit 35 home runs. Lowry's going to have a three, bat 280 to 300, do like he did in Oakland. And their main biggest move was Wilson Ramos. Wilson Ramos is going to catch the staff well. He's going to hit lefties like no other. And the Mets are going to win the division. They're going to shock everybody. Who I think is going to take a step back is the Braves. I honestly think that with Philly, as much as I hate Bryce Harper, with Philly getting Harper, Segura, I, I, it's they're going to probably win the wild card. It's just going to be more that the Mets pitching is going to be too much and it's going to take maybe Harper a while to get used to it, but I do think they'll get the wild card. Back to the Central. Brewers are going right back to win the Central. The team that's going to take a step back is the Cubs. I don't see the Cubs doing anything. I don't see it this year. Darvish will be hurt within the, in two months. I don't see anybody on that. I mean, Lester's getting a little bit older. I just don't see them having another year. I feel like it's going to be the Cardinals who are going to come up and challenge for the division because of Goldschmidt. Again, being a diehard Diamondback fan, Goldschmidt is going to change that whole team. He's going to have an MVP-type year, which is going to make everybody else better. And I see the Cardinals challenge. They're not going to do enough to get to the Brewers, but they are going to challenge them the whole year. Right to the West, my division. My, I wish I could say the Diamondbacks are going to win the division. They may do better than you think, just for the simple fact that, you know, there's no big-time hitter on the team. It's going to be a bunch of doubles and a bunch of guys who hit 15 to 20-something home runs. If they're going to do well, don't let it surprise you. Christian Walker, if he plays, is going to do really well. And if that not, if they bring up Crone, he's going to do well. You know, Lamb, I don't like the platoon thing. It's, it's just annoying. You know, it's. I think a guy like Walker needs to get an opportunity. And, you know, you move Marte to center field, you have definitely a really good chance to do well. Maybe win 85 to 90 games. But the Rockies are winning the division. The Rockies are winning the division for two reasons. Their pitching is... A lot, a lot better with guys like Freeland and guys like Anderson. And, you know, that team has got one big star that no one's even saying, and it's because of Murphy. Daniel Murphy had an injury season last year when he got injured. And he, if you look wherever he goes, teams win. And going to Colorado, oh my God. The protection with Blackman getting on and Arenado and Murphy just being Murphy, it's just, it, they're going to put up so many scores, and then their pitching is going to do well. When you have Gray as a fourth option, you know, it's just, they're going to win the division, and I think the Dodgers with Kershaw not being the way he is, I don't feel the Dodgers, I think the Dodgers are going to take a lot of step back. I think with Puig being gone, their attitude is not going to be as tough. I don't see it. I know they picked up A.J. Pollock. Love him for the Diamondbacks, but he's always injured. I don't see them doing. I feel like it's going to be the Rockies, and honestly, it could be the Diamondbacks finishing second, but it will be the Rockies who win the division. They very well, very well have a chance to go to the championship, but again, I think it could be the Mets if their pitching stays healthy. Wild card. Philadelphia is probably going to be one of them, and I think the Cardinals will be the second. I think there'll be a couple changes, but I think the Cardinals always seem to do something right. And they were missing somebody last year. Like I said, it was Goldschmidt. So that's what that's what I see. You know, it may change. You know, injuries do things. But let me go over it to recap. Yankees, Twins, Astros, all division winners. Wild card, Boston first, Oakland second. Let's go to the NL. Mets, Brewers, Rockies. Wild card. Philly Cardinals that may change you know I have I was thinking that maybe Atlanta does better than Philly I just I'm not sure if I see it I like the Donaldson move you know Atlanta did well last year I just Philly just stacked their, their offense I see the Braves doing well I see it's like a three-horse race but 
at the end of the day, pitching always wins. And the Mets have the best pitching. So I could, if I had to pick right now, right now, I'm not, this is not my pick for going to the championship. I mean, the Brewers look good. The Rockies look good. But if the Mets pitching stays healthy, I see the Mets going to the championship. I, I hate saying that. I, I can see it happening with the, that three-headed team if they stay healthy. And even if Max is another one, you know. And for the AL, it's really tough. I mean, I, I'm not sure if Boston does it again. It's very possible. But I, I feel I feel that it could be a Subway Series this year. It very well could be a Subway Series this year. You guys got to look at pitching. You got to look at how close the Yankees were, and you got to look at how good the Mets can be. It's very possible that we get a Subway Series this year, and I hate both of those teams. But um, if I had to pick now, I say that's a big possibility. Who knows? It's March. I like to just go out there. Hopefully, my Diamondbacks shut me up and surprise me, but I don't see that happening. Let's talk, guys. Let's talk about what you think, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.